What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak or for files I escaped on iOS 14.2, 14.1 and lower. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software that allows you to fix multiple iOS issues, upgrade, downgrade and enter an exit recovery mode. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably are aware, iOS 14.3 has been released back on 14th of December and it has a pretty hefty changelog here in terms of security. That's actually quite good because we know there are vulnerabilities in 14.2 that we might be able to exploit. Now with that in mind, BassVT posted this, quote, keep your devices on lowest iOS 14 version possible, especially iPhone 12, iOS 14.1 and lower for 12 and 12 Pro, 14.2 for 12 Pro Max and Mini. That's a weird request in here, but it makes sense in a second. They say, quote, yes, I am talking about Falza Escaped 14. Now a small break here, Falza Escaped is basically the files of file manager that you have on a jailbroken device which is a complete file manager with root access and stuff like that but this time files that escaped is basically the files up but without the jailbreak it runs on its own it's a self-contained application so you have the full file manager with root and everything but you don't need a jailbreak for it it's actually pretty useful if you want to mode applications or if you want to modify any other things on your device transfer files and stuff like that. Anyways, they say, quote, and if I wanted, I can work on a jailbreak. An iPhone 12 mini just helps very much for faster and stable testing. If all goes well, we're not talking about weeks to wait anymore. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if they have a bug or something that they're going to use, because yes, there are a couple of bugs that have been patched in here. And according to Xeros here, they say, quote, looks like this might have been patched in 14.3. And what they say was patched, well, ABC Research vulnerability which by the way this actually got TFP0 which is pretty interesting they posted a full log with root and everything in here they got SSH running back on iOS 14 and this was back on 14th of September so it seems that now their vulnerability has finally been patched in 14.3 but I can't exactly tell which one in here because there are many of them with arbitrary code execution and I'm not sure which one of them has been patched I wonder if they are actually credited let me actually search so let's see a BC. Nope, they don't seem to be credited. So maybe it was revealed by a different security researcher, but it's the same vulnerability. Anyways, if this vulnerability has indeed been patched, this one can be used for a jailbreak, so it's best to stay on 14.2 and lower. However, as BassVT recommends, you should probably stay on 14.1 if you're already there, or 14.0.1, or even 14.0. 14.2 will be supported, but it's best to stay on lower if you can. They did, however, say here, quote, it will support all iPhones on iOS 14.2 and lower. However, they did follow it up that iOS 14.1 might be supported sooner than 14.2. So if you're already there on 14.1, do not update. However, if you already jumped to 14.2, do not update to 14.3. That would be a very low IQ move because 14.3 patches a ton of vulnerabilities here, many of them from Google Project Zero, which means that they might be released in the future since Google Project Zero usually publishes their vulnerabilities after a while. And we're talking real vulnerabilities here, like quite a lot of them, that actually give arbitrary code execution and stuff like that, and they corrupt the memory and whatever. So these can actually be quite useful, which is pretty good. Now they did mention here, quote, keep in mind it's all still in early stages, don't hype too much. So we should manage our expectations at this point, but it seems to be that they're actually onto something with Faza Escaped. Historically, BassVT has developed many of the Faza Escaped versions, basically I think for iOS 12, 13, possibly even 11, but don't quote me on that. However, they've been working on the files I escaped for quite a while, so they do have experience with this, and they seem to be pretty confident that files I escaped for iOS 14 can be done before even a jailbreak is out. So yeah, that's basically it. Stay on iOS 14.1 if you can. If you have already updated the 14.2, stay there, do not go to 14.3. However, since iOS 14.2 is still signed at the time I'm making the video, if you're already already updated the 14.3, go ahead and download the IPSW and go back to 14.2. Make a backup first. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am GS now. I'll keep you updated with anything going on with this project. Until the next time, peace out.